I've seen a pastor many years ago. He came one night and said his fiancée was pregnant. He said, if people know that this lady is pregnant, the body of Christ will be in crisis. The body of Christ is okay. It's you that have problem. So that was his explanation for abortion. And we kept the secret. We, we knew, but we kept quiet. Many years later. It means he invaded chastisement. Because any chastening God wants to give to you, you have the opportunity to invade it. He will give you the opportunity. There are two things the Bible instructed. Oh my God, you are not with. Can you go back to Hebrews chapter 12 quick, quickly? Next verse. He said, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as children. My son, number one despise not the chastening of the Lord. That means if God has dealt with you, whenever Satan is bringing that temptation again, remember the dealing. It will deliver you. Second thing he asks you, he said, despise not the chastening of the Lord and do not faint when you are rebuked by him. God will rebuke you, but you know why he's doing it. Not because he's wicked, but there is something that needs to be purged so I will not faint. I know it's an act of love. And I've seen his hand behind it. This brother paid for abortion. I kept it. He dodged the chastisement. Because if it had become open and the parents of the girl knew about it everybody knows about it it will administer a dealing are you with me that will cure him from that tendency in his future ministry and when eventually he becomes restored the devil cannot play that card with him anymore because of the chastisement but he escaped and I've checked his ministry till today I've checked it. Anytime ministry becomes hard, that you need to believe God. You can no longer predict when the next supplies will come. He will use a means of the flesh to survive. If, if the new reigning preacher is prophet Ezekiel, he's going to be in your church. And the, the way he will wiggle, you are likely to make him Someone that is prominent, he will wiggle. Then, when it seems that okay, you are not reigning the way he thought again, he will disappear. Then the next guy reigning is in Taraba, he will appear there. Before you know it, after three weeks, he will be holding mic. He will wiggle. Do you know that that guy is not serving God? Oh, you are not aware. That thing is not ministry. When you do it till old age, you will know that ah, because you were determined to escape every opportunity for chastening. He said, Among all the sons that are bona fide, this thing is a common matter. But if you are without it, it means God cannot endorse you. You are a pastor. Are you with me? Are you with me? At the end of the day, the sons that have chastening from God, you will know. They are authentic. They are strong. They are original. And God backs them up. What you see some people is gimmicks. It's gimmicks. And I've watched for years, for more than 20 years, I've seen gimmicks in that brother's life till today. If he comes here now, you must get your phone numbers. What's about contacts? about navigation but the man walking with Jesus doesn't mind to stay in the wilderness until Jesus begins to if you come out before your time if you appear before your time 
Demons will ensure that you will disappear. You will do something wrong that will make you disappear. You are not that wise. And the time you will make that mistake, it will be a time where you needed not to make the mistake. But because you didn't go through the process, you don't know what is valuable in your calling. He said, if you do not have these disciplines, you are not approved. Do you know how long we stayed in the wilderness? They are preaching straight for 15 years, straight. The congregation you are preaching to, it dwindles. Sometimes 30, sometimes 12, sometimes 25, sometimes... And we preach messages to the whole world. And I didn't know that the whole world heard it. It is only a man that is undergoing perpetual process with God that can truly prophesy. Because prophecy is an act of faith. I didn't know the whole world heard it. My city did not hear it, but the whole world heard it. Then when people began to come from nations of the world, my, the people in my city were ashamed. They said, Kai would have joined though 14 years ago, but we did not look like success. Please don't look like success. Don't ever look like it. When we were coming to preach for, for Danjuma, we put our vehicles in, what they call that, in ferry. So we move on ferry, we move on boat, we move on bicycle, we move just to get to the mission field. You, you say you're a big man. Where did they get you from? You have not gone through the process, so you can't adapt. You can't fly with plane and drop somewhere and take bicycle and complete the, the trip. Because you have not been groomed. So where the plane ends, your journey ends there. And that's why you have pot belly. Hallelujah.